Well, good afternoon, Guildford. It is Monday. It's been a little bit wet and windy today. We've had a bit of rain. We won't have to water the garden, but I've been out and about and I've popped along to the Evenarno and I am here to talk about some exciting news for the Evenarno. And I am here with director and e chief executive. Chief executive. It's posh, it? it is. It's a mouthful, <laughs> actually, Joanna. Joanna Reed. Welcome to the back of the Big Mouth Cab. Thank you. Delighted we, to be in your big cab. I'm yeah. really excited to have you. We have some exciting news. You have been doing some serious fundraising um, for the future of the Even Arno. And I was having a little look uh, today on Wikipedia. Should have gone to Wikipedia, but I hear yesterday was your 58th birthday of opening. Did you know uh, that? I did know that. Yes, yes it was. I happy birthday. Happy birthday, Even Arno. If you all forgot, happy Please. birthday, Even Arno. I, I, I looked that up today, so happy birthday. And there is some big, big plans, really, for the next 50 years. And you've had some quite big funding, haven't you? We have been really fortunate that um, your fund, Surrey, so the Surrey County Council Community Funding, have come through and made an award of £2.988 million pounds towards our fundraising, well, uh, towards our capital campaign, really, yes. which is to make the building front of house accessible again and sort out things like the accessible toilets, put a lift in, uh, make us fit for purpose, basically. Yeah, and it's it's funny, isn't it? I was thinking on the way here, we're... We're, we're, we're in a town at the moment where there's a lot of planning going on and 58 years ago, this must have been quite a, um, a, a building that stood out in the town. It must have been, yeah. a, you know, I wonder what the planning things was around this. And I think there was some planning on height. Yeah. we don't have a full height fly tower and I think that must have been. Yeah, it's funny. Height. And it's funny, <laughs> but it's great that now, you know, with the accessibility and the sort of more community use for the space, you've now sort of had a big boost to mm -hmm. the funds. So it's going to become a more open space for the community and more open space for, for things to do. So congratulations. Thank and you. I just wanted to come along and say oh, congratulations and let the rest of Guildford know it's all great. about it. Well, and We're really excited because it's, it, it's a massive boost of confidence for us and it's great to have the backing from Surrey. And we had tremendous help and support from lots of people, yeah. our volunteers, loads of people across Surrey and Guildford wrote in and yeah. clicked on the website to say how much this gift meant to them. Yeah. Also, how they were using it for different yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. Yeah, it, it's bit, it, obviously a good good test for you to sort of raise the money yeah. and get awareness of what people want yep. and what they want out of spaces, Absolutely. isn't it? And, Absolutely, and I've got a bit more money to raise. So. Yeah, <laughs> and I think we're both in the, in the agree, under, under the agreement that the future of sort of town centres is more event space and event-led oh, things. definitely. Yeah. Places like the, the theatre you know, cinema, restaurants, they're, they're all important to bring yeah. life back to the town yeah. centre um, and certainly the nighttime economy. We did a survey in COVID when we asked our audience, you know, why they came to Guildford and 80% of the people we surveyed said they only came into Guildford for the Yvonne Arno. Yeah, that's, so that's fantastic. That's a powerful number, I thought. It is quite a powerful yeah. number. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thanks for popping along and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the back of a cab soon. Absolutely.